Hello my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. I feel like I just can't say good morning darlings anymore because my vlogs never seem to start in the mornings anymore. Mornings in this house are just a little bit manic. We have obviously got two teams of carpenters here for the wardrobes, um, a whole squad of builders over at the coach house. We've had some people here today looking at our lawns. It's just been another one of those days and it's been my laundry day as well. So we currently have laundry taking over the whole of the kitchen and our doorbell's not working <laughs> so I had to run down the road to get our postman before he left us one of those annoying little red missed delivery slips um but I did manage to fit in a lovely pampering shower this morning which sounds like a small thing but it was an hour a solid hour of me time which I really needed I like double exfoliated, the full on pampering shave, too much information. Um, oh, but then my shower was cut short in its me timeness because I noticed that the builders were planning to sort out the drain pipes right outside the bathroom. I noticed you sneaking in behind me, little puppy dog. You little minxy. So it is Friday today and my emails are usually quite quiet on Fridays, which is a relief. This is literally the first time I have sat down all day and it's about to get manic again. But luckily work is just ticking along in the background. I was productive for a couple of hours this morning while all the workmen were kind of like coming in and out. And we have also been getting the house looking nice. <coughs> And we've also been trying to get the house looking nice and neat and tidy because we've got three friends coming over this afternoon slash evening um, so we just want everything to be looking nice and lovely for when they get here. So I have got a chicken biryani <laughs> marinating in the fridge. I've got the rice which is soaking. I'm doing Amelia's rice recipe again. In fact that reminds me she's just sent me some voice notes with some tips on how to do it properly with a rice cooker, so I'm gonna to listen, to, um, listen to her tips and carry on with my food prep. Oh, I love this, this makes me so happy. So the thing, because the Thermomix has a rice option jar and I mix, I'll send you a picture, I mix saffron powder with water and then you get this like red liquid and then you- <sighs> Okay darlings, we're up in the dressing room again and I think this is going to be the last time I update you until it's finished because <laughs> a lot has been done but Carl the carpenter thinks that he is going to be finished on Wednesday next week so only three more days of um, busying away until it's finished then of course we've got the painter coming and that will really be the finishing touches like the skirting board you can see down there um, and you know, it's just gonna look so much more fresh and finished once it's painted. So I should think in about a week's time, I will be able to have the big grand reveal. So yeah, this is gonna be the last time I show you until that, which is really exciting um, because I don't want it to be too much like bit by bit. I want the grand, I want the grand reveal to be exciting so yeah i'm not going to show you again after today i've brought my camera up as well my olympus so that i can shoot some final shots of it incomplete um but yeah let me flip you around and show you the almost finished dressing room. So it's actually really surprised me how tucked in and neat this little area is. I thought I would sit here and do my makeup but I think where it's just so kind of underneath the, what's it called, the sloped ceiling, I'll probably mostly just use it for storage. I might sit here to do my hair. Um, Carl has installed a plug in here and of course all of these things are going to be filled in, it's going to be painted and it's going to be finished all perfectly. Um, and he's put in a plug that's got USB sockets, which is amazing, so I can charge my phone. Some of the drawers have started to go in, and they are going to have fronts on them, so it's going to look like this eventually. And then we have, slightly set back, another storage unit, which I might use for handbags, I might use for good-looking beauty products, haven't quite decided. 
we've got the skirting on this unit here this is just going to look so incredible when it's done i'm going to have to think really carefully as to what i put in these top areas because it's really quite visible and then of course we're getting the gold rail put in there and i've asked carl if he could put in um, a gold rail in here as well so i think originally i was going to use this as hat storage but it's almost too good for hat storage so i think i'm going to pop a rail in um, and then some of my longer items can go in there as well. I'm going to have to be really careful not to get makeup marks on these units, especially this one, because this is going to be a, a push to open. These drawers are really spacious. I haven't decided what I'm going to pop in these drawers yet. And then we've got another door to go in here for my shoes. I think you guys saw this area, but what you didn't see is this beautiful panelled section along the back here. If you didn't know any better, you might even think that it was just a panelled wall. And Carl came down and asked me if I actually want handles on here or if I want to leave it plain. And I'm really going to think about it because when it's painted, obviously this will be the exact same colour. This is... Um, all these holes are going to get filled in and it will perfectly match. So it will actually just look like a panelled wall if I leave it, which is quite a nice look and it's a very similar style panelling to other areas that we've got in the house. So yeah, need to think about that. Can't remember what we agreed for this section here. I think we might be doing some kind of column detail. I would love that, not too sure. Um, and then obviously we've got one more door to go in at the end there, which is going to be mirrored like these two beautiful mirrored sections. And then we've got the panels mirrored on this side as well. I just think it looks so amazing. And then I realized the other day I brought you up here to discuss the fabrics for the cushion seat or the window seat cushion, I should say. And then I forgot to talk through them with you. So I think I've decided that this is going to be a really nice one. So when you compare the fabric with the colour of the doors, I think it goes really nicely if I show you in a proper light. It's like a silvery dusky pink and then it's got this floral pattern on there. And I think it goes with the room really nicely. So that will be a lovely window seat cushion there. Got a ginormous drawer. I'm just going to be so spoiled with drawer space. I'm going to have to think really carefully about what I put inside them. Obviously you need to do quite a bit of hoovering. I really am going to have to get a lot more, a lot better at not touching my face because I am concerned that these might end up a little bit covered in makeup otherwise. But look how much room we've got. I was a little bit nervous when we first started that this room would feel so small, but actually it's still ginormous and it's just going to be the most amazing space, which oh, I'm just so excited to to get cracking. Um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys yet, but I am going to get uh, a fitted carpet. So it's not going to go across all the floor because obviously the wood is so beautiful. It's essentially going to be like a fitted rug. So a really big rug. I think I'm going to use another Cormar carpet because I'm so impressed with how that looks over in the coach house. And then the guys from Gaskin came over and they said that they could put a little trim on it and it will probably end like 10 centimeters from the edge. So you'll still be able to see the beautiful wooden floor underneath, but I think it'll make it a lot more cozy. It'll help with the acoustics because I'm thinking when I'm filming videos, I'll pop my tripod here probably and have that as my filming space. We shall see. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but we also found out that the wasp nest is in this wall here. So we've actually got someone from pest control coming over this afternoon at some point to hopefully get rid of all of the pesky wasps that are plaguing this room. I'm also going to ask them about tips for spiders as well, because I really don't want this room to get spider infested. Oh, notification on the security camera. Oh, I think we've got a delivery. Right, so I'm going to take some photos and I'll catch up with you guys shortly. So I've just quickly run the GHD rise through my hair. I just love the little curls it gives down at the bottom, very natural. Um, and now we're just whizzing around doing some last minute bits before our friends get here. Charlie, of course, is vacuum cleaning. He has just proudly told me that he's used two batteries from the Dyson, even though it is like a 40 minute battery. So he must've been using it on 
the intense mode um, but we finally have our bedroom back because Charlie's wardrobe is pretty much done it just needs the finishing paintwork doing so he's going to give you a little tour in a second if our friends don't arrive in the next five minutes which I think they might do so maybe that will have to wait but I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well because obviously I haven't shown you that much today so um, yeah this will probably end up being a two-day vlog but we have the bedroom back, so we're just going to do a little bit of tidying. It's going to be nice to sleep in our own bed again tonight. Charlie's been dusting all the surfaces while I've been cleaning upstairs. So very excitingly, Charlie's dressing room is pretty much done. Well, apart from painting. Apart from painting. So the paint, so all the carpentry work is done. All the shelves are in. Mm -hmm. Come on through. <laughs> Now, we've already had a few messages on Instagram about this. We, I decided to keep shoe shelving here, mm -hmm. primarily because it's not deep enough for hanging. So I didn't really have much choice unless I wanted to bring it out, and then it would have been further out. Yeah. And I have, honestly, there is a lot of hanging space for me, and I have got a lot of shoes, and shoes, you know, I'd love this side to all be shoes. So it's gonna work. I've got six pairs of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> you are bonkers. Um, it does look so good. The these, lights are really lovely. The lights are stunning. And, and the quality of this is amazing. It's like a snazzy boutique. But do you know what's going to look great is when they're all like symmetrically in here. So this is all I think going to be Chelsea boots I've decided. The only thing with them being thing. open that is going to get dusty. dusty. Yeah. It is, but then to be honest dust and cobwebs are throughout this house. And, you f and they find their way inside as well. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just a case of a weekly sort of dust over. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's that. Obviously, all the skirts are going to be bought in this same colour. Yeah. All is is this going to be like yes. navy? Yeah. yeah. So this all is going to be this exact colour, and then this is all going to be the grey and brown version, mm -hmm. which is called Resistance, I think it's called. Okay. And it's basically like the the, the walls will be a, it, it's very similar, but almost slightly darker, I think, because they've matched this. Yeah. I think the grey and brown might look slightly darker on the panel. Okay, that'll look um, good. Which will look good. I've decided this this cupboard here, the colours room, <laughs> this cupboard here, it is fragrances at the moment, but I think this is going to be more grooming products, because I think I might use some shelves on here for fragrances, because mm -hmm. these are a bit, they're more like a hat shelf. Yeah, that's true. What would, I mean, what would you say to put on these? these I think a mix, the, like you can style it, like if you have a really nice, um, I don't know, like a tie stand, a watch stand, mm -hmm. um, your fragrances, it's the only area that I'm less decided about what it's going to go in because I think these are going to be my taller boots and they fit perfectly, we've measured them. Yeah. Um, and they then, are very nice shelves, like when you compare beautiful. this to the quality of the wardrobes that we had in Clapham, yeah. like this is I mean, it, they're built to last, aren't they? And yeah. I would say that obviously it all needs to clean in here, but the, the lights are phenomenal, so much so that we've asked them where they got them because we might try and put these in our kitchen. Mm. Do you know what? You could film videos in here, like that's I, nice. I, I, once this is painted in, I envisage this space being quite a versatile area. You could film like IGTVs here, because this lighting, because the window's behind me, like this is really nice lighting. Shall I show you this? So, this is, so, do you know what's amazing is, and this is what I love about Heritage, in that you can really get involved and everything's bespoke. Mm -hmm. They've managed to match the door handles of this to the door handles that are already in the house. So it's the same brass style door handles. So these are these were put in the house when the house was renovated. Mm -hmm. And these are brand new. But yeah. I don't think you'd really know. That is amazing. Aren't they amazing? So with this, obviously the doors are all gonna be repainted. I was having a laugh because Charlie's had his very own Sex in the City Carrie Bradshaw moment. Putting your first pair of shoes in the wardrobe, darling. I think that needs a magnet. That's a good idea. I think that needs a magnet now. I'll have to speak to them wrong. I'm going to check. I've ordered a new sort of um, more brass, old fashioned style handle. Mm -hmm. I think we've shown you guys this before, but now yeah. it's got a rail in there. Epic. So that's going to be for the blazers, which is pretty awesome. It's just such an like, unusual feature, which I like. And then, so then I'll close this. And the light sensors, and it's just so smooth. And then I, I these, these, these are actually what I, I didn't realise would be such good quality. The quality wow. of these drawers. I mean, that is incredible. Isn't it? I think it's walnut. Wow. The wood, but look at the soft clothes. And what I am going to do some videos on how I decide what to put where mm -hmm. with my sort of, <coughs> sort of, not OCD, it's not the right time to use, but my ultra attention to detail. But 
I think what's important is a lot of, I'd say about 40% of what I had hung in my cabin wardrobe were knits and you shouldn't hang knitwear. Yeah. So that is what, this is going to come extremely handy. Because I think most of these will be knits, folded knits. It's looking good. It's looking very good. It's going to look different again once you've got it painted. But the ceiling is going to stay white, isn't it? The ceiling's staying white for the light. The seats, obviously, we're going to get a seat here, which is more of a firm cushion with it stamped in. Mm -hmm. um, and then this will be more of like a foamy cushion like we have throughout the house. Yeah. And there, I mean, I haven't, there's not really, the only other decision... Look how good made, the lighting is down there, like that would be amazing for filming. Oh, wow. Yeah. The only other decision to be made is, do I, this is obviously going to stay white, do I get like a... It's going to stay white. Sorry, yeah, if... no, this is, no, sorry, this is going to be dark. It's okay. going to be dark. What yeah. do you think? No, it wants yeah. to be dark, Yeah. It? Yeah, I think you need a painting of Dexter and Dickens in here. <laughs> it's going to look amazing when it's painted. Very excited. Very, very exciting. Good morning, my darlings. It is now Saturday. It's always the same when friends come over you don't want to pick up the camera and be in everyone's face but we had a very nice dinner last night chicken biryani which is very quickly becoming one of my most popular dishes we're going to go for a nice walk this morning down to the golf club have a nice coffee there charlie's just whipping up some crumpets and fried eggs which will keep us going and then i'm not sure what the plans are for the rest of the day but i will bring you along we have just got back from a very blustery walk, which was really lovely, down to Felden Valley. And we had a couple of these Cotswold veg boxes on our doorstep. I ordered these last week. I think I saw an advert on Instagram um, and decided to order a couple. So we have got some lovely carrots. We've got lots of different lettuces, spring onions, some mushrooms. We've even got some grapes, blueberries, broccoli. Really good selection here, so we're perfect for tomorrow's Sunday roast. We've even got some salad leaves, although we have got plenty down in the garden. What's this? Celery? Or is that spinach? That could be proper big spinach. Absolutely gorgeous. So we've got two of these. They'll definitely see us through the week. This is another delivery that has arrived today. This is from Christy. So Christy is a home, I don't know what you call it, interiors, soft furnishings, home textile company. And I really was intrigued to have a look at this bed set. So as you may remember, I'm not 100% happy with either of the bed linen sets in our current be master bedroom. White just looks a little bit too modern and the green I don't think goes that well. This is the linen shade from Christie, and it's kind of like a cotton sateen. So it's got a bit of a sheen to it, but it's not white and it's not, you know, I think it, I think this just could be the perfect subdued soft colour for the master bedroom. So we've got a super king set with the king size pillowcases. They're also now doing face masks. So this is a really lovely linen face mask. It's got a little pocket here for your uh, filter. And then they have the softest towels. They are so, so lovely and sumptuous and soft. I'm obviously gonna pop all of these through the washing machine. So we've got some new flannels, which is always fantastic for my cleansing. And then we've got some hand towels, a couple of hand towels, um, a couple of bath towels and a couple of bath sheets and what can only be described as the world's softest bath mat getting out of the bath and popping your feet in this is just going to be so lovely and this was all very very kindly sent over by the Christie team so i'm very grateful i'm always grateful for things like this it may seem very unexciting but a good quality towel it just makes your pampering and your me time a million times nicer and yeah i think this bed linen is going to be fantastic so i'm going to un unpackage all of this and pop it in the wash so we can try it out when we next change the bed we've got the gang over playing a game of croquet on the lawn dexter's out here too enjoying the sunshine ah she misses
winning shot. Hello again, my darlings. So we've just had a really lovely afternoon. It's really echoey in here. Is it normally this echoey? Hmm. We've just had a really lovely afternoon playing croquet out on the lawn. It is so windy, um, but it's actually quite warm. So we had a nice summer's afternoon. I feel like summer days like this might be few and far between. I actually did an autumn edit on my newsletter yesterday and everyone has responded very pro autumn so maybe i'm going to start doing some autumn fashion content um but we're going out to the swan again tonight the swan at ascot under witchwood that we went to last weekend um but we thought it was so nice that we would, that we would go with the girls and i've just propped you up on the window i'm going to top up my makeup um this is just like day old makeup that i did in a rush this morning and also very excitingly for me probably really boring for you I have just seen a big red combine harvester come into the wheat field opposite or barley field, still don't know what it is. And I have been wanting to watch them combine harvest this field. So I am gonna do my makeup. I'll chat you through a little bit, um, just how I freshen up my makeup in the evenings. And I'm gonna watch the combine harvester. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just cause it's this massive machine. It's just, so interesting i don't know maybe i'm turning into a country bumpkin but anyway so i'm going to use the dregs of my la mer soft fluid longwear foundation this is what i like to use on slightly more special occasions i'm running very low in fact it's actually broken the pump so i have to just whack it on the back of my hand and i'm going to be using it very very sparingly just gonna pop it on with my sponge just on the areas where my makeup tends to disappear during the day so mostly my chin and around my nose i really need to have a facial where they just suck all the dirt out of your skin i was watching my friend mariko's instagram stories today and she was showing her facial at the house of elemis and i've been there a few times before but i don't think i'd ever had this particular facial and they were using a device that like sucked all the gunk out of her skin it was like a metal looked kind of like a knife like a blunt knife and they were scraping it across her skin getting all the gunk out and it looked amazing and i feel like i want to do that and i feel like i need that on my chin and on my t-zone especially so i might try and book myself in for that the morning that i go into london to get my hair done i'm going to put a tiny bit of charlotte tilbury's magic away concealer under my eyes And then I'm going to set my new base with the By Terry Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. This is the colourless one. So this is a powder for people that don't really like powders. If you don't like your powder to completely mattify your complexion, like I love a glow. And because it's got um, the hyaluronic elements about it, it's actually quite hydrating. So you'll see now, if you use a fluffy brush, this one from Hourglass is my favourite. You can apply it really lightly um, and it just sets your makeup, gets rid of any shine, but it also keeps the glow to your skin. So I just apply it quite lightly, um, a little bit more concentrated in areas like my chin here, because this is where my makeup goes and I get really shiny. And then I use the smaller end of this brush very lightly, just on the side of my nose and under my eyes. But this will never dry out your skin or make you look cakey. So. If you really don't like powders, but you need to find a solution for 
skin that maybe the makeup disappears or you just look a little bit shiny at times this one is absolutely gorgeous i always wonder if you're meant to put powder on first or like your bronzer and blusher i feel like your powder sets your more liquidy products so i do the powder first most of the time <laughs> depends what i remember first and then i'm using nars valata matte, oh, matte bronzer i can hear the combine harvester coming back <laughs> I'm excited to see it. And I just apply this in the areas that the sun would naturally hit my skin and a little bit of contour. Not forgetting it down my neck. Oh, he's gone into the next field, unless there's two. <gasps> farmers are very busy today. I guess these farmers probably have normal jobs during the week. So then they have to do their farming at the weekends. Like our um, wardrobe carpenter, Carl, he said that he's helping out at a farm over the weekends. He must be exhausted. And then my lovely By Terry palette. You might remember if you've been watching me for a while, this is the one that I made myself at Selfridges and it's got so many lovely colors in there. These are like my everyday eyeshadow colors, but this blush is absolutely gorgeous. And this brush is a really old one from Sigma. It's one of those duo fiber brushes. So I'm just gonna take a mixture of these shades onto my eyelid. They're perfect for like everyday shades. I might use a Charlotte Tilbury shimmery one as well. Probably can't see anything, but for an everyday look, I would literally just leave like a very soft mushroomy brown just all over the lid and then a little bit over the crease. But this Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette from the Pillow Talk collection is really lovely. Lots of very wearable shades here. So I'm gonna use actually these first two. So they're kind of like rose, goldy, pinky, slightly metallic shades. I feel like I've grown up watching so many beauty YouTubers, but I've never really taught myself how to be particularly good at doing my makeup, but I'm more than happy, but I'm more than happy to just spend maximum 10 minutes and it not looking like I've made too much effort. Like I appreciate so much when people spend so much time getting the perfect flawless face and the most perfect smoky eye. But for me, I just don't have the patience for it. I just want to do it in two minutes, have some really nice, very wearable colors in the palette. Um, and then be really easy to use. I just don't have the patience to spend loads of time on my makeup. So for me, that's my eyeshadow done. I know a lot of people would spend that amount of time just doing the primer. And I know you're not meant to curl your lashes when you have got mascara on, but I'm just gonna give them a tiny squeeze just to open the eye up again. Actually, this mascara has lasted pretty darn well, considering we've been out for walks and everything. Um, I was sent this very kindly the other day. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I love the packaging. Really beautiful rose gold lid and this gorgeous pink tube. And it's got a really, really stiff bristle brush. Really good for separating out the lashes and literally catching every single one with no clumps. It's actually really good as one to reapply when you're doing your makeup later in the day as well because sometimes when you do your mascara in the evening or the afternoon and you're adding it on instead of starting from scratch, it can end up so clumpy. And then before I do my lips, I'm just gonna brush my teeth quickly because I've had quite a few coffees today. Just realized I didn't do anything to my brows. I'm just gonna run the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. This has got little tiny fibers in there which really voluminizes the brows and also sets them in place. I've taken a roll neck jumper on and off a few times today so I feel like I need to just brush through them. Actually they've stayed pretty well. This is a really nice color for me as well. It's um, 01 Blonde and I was just talking to the girls downstairs and we were saying how you can really almost create the look as though you've had lip filler. Not that that's necessarily a desirable look but, but I know sometimes girls want their lips to look more voluminous and we were saying that you can really achieve that yourself without filler with a little bit of overlining and the right color lipstick and typically I don't have a lip liner down here so I'm going to leave the camera doing a time lapse of the combine harvesting while I go and find one. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, back again. I've got no idea if you saw anything then or if it was just a picture of a field. So I've gone and got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and Bare Minerals Insight Lipstick. Normally, if I'm trying to get a big voluminous lip look, I'll use Tom Ford Save or Smoke as well. That one's really nice. Um, but I feel like I don't want to be too dramatic this evening. Not that that's overly dramatic, but I found this one more quickly. Okay, so I'm going to just slightly overline my lips. I think actually Pillow Talk maybe isn't quite dark enough. We'll see. Don't know if that was the best example. The lip liner is not that different in colour to the lipstick, so I'm not sure if it looks too voluminous. But anyway, that is me done. I'm just going to finish with a mist of Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. It's so windy, there's no point in me doing anything nice to my hair because it'll just completely change. But I'm just going to pop some Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo in the roots. I ordered this headband from And Other Stories. I'm not sure if this is the right outfit to wear it with, but I do love a headband. Don't know if it's a bit preppy. What do we think, headband or no headband? I'm gonna ask the girls what they think downstairs. So perfect timing, these were very kindly sent to me today. They are from the London Cocktail Delivery Company. They've got cocktails, mocktails, um, and I chose a couple of different designs, um, not designs, flavors. This is the Bramble, and we've got the High Society. I think we're probably just gonna open one this evening. Um, and they even came with little garnishes. We've got these low glasses out with some ice. I think if we can find it, we need to use a cocktail shaker with some ice just to freshen it up, add the garnish and it should be rather delicious. Try. 